Welcome to 7.1's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students read and wrote expressions. One of the things we talked about in fifth grade was the order of operations. Here are the rules of order of operations. Students will work with please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is an they might remember. Working with order of operations, there's some things that you need to know. We're going to do parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction actually go together from left to right. A lot of students get confused with this thinking that multiplication comes first, so they should always do that first. That's not the case. We need to be working from left to right with addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. It's going to be a common mistake, so be sure to watch that when you're working with your fifth grader. Which expression, or excuse me, which operation should be done first? In this case, we need to look at what we have. We've got 20 divided by 5 times 2. We know 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 20, which is going to give me an answer of 2. With order of operations, what I did first was I did the parentheses because according to order of operations, that's what I should do first. So the operation that I would do first is I would write down 5 times 2. Now looking at the next one, we have 6 plus 7 times 30. Do I have any parentheses? I don't. I don't have any exponents. 9 to go to multiplication and division. Do I have that in this problem? I do. I have 7 times 3, which is this, or 7 times 30, which is the same as 7 times 3, which is 210 plus my 6, which would give me 216. Now, it's really important to look at this question and remember that because I've got multiplication, I do that first according to order of operations. So what I did first in this case was I did 7 times 3, or 7 times 30, which gave me my 210. All right. For example, two, it says write the expression in words. What students had to do today was just give a written expression of what they saw in the problem. So I know I'm going to divide, in this case, when I take one and six tenths, take, divide one and six tenths by two tenths. So all I've done is take this problem, which is one and six tenths divided by two tenths, and I've written it in words. The next one says add 6 and 3 fourths and y. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 6 and 3 fourths. Addition gives me a plus sign and y. If you have any questions about today's math lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.